The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development recently welcomed a team from the Caribbean Development Bank as part of the supervision mission for the Building Resilience for Adaptation to Climate Change Variability in Agriculture in St. Lucia Project. During the visit, the CDB delegation undertook site visits, engaged in meetings with key stakeholders and conducted consultations all with the purpose of gaining a comprehensive understanding of the project's progress. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Barrymore Felicier, highlighted that these activities were designed to analyze the existing implementation challenges and chart a path forward for the sustainable development of St. Lucia's agriculture sector. The project components include looking at areas of adaptation measures in rainwater conservation, irrigation measures, looking at slope stabilization. We are also looking at measures dealing with building agroparks for increased livelihoods, especially in rural communities. Areas include regions one and two, which is the Barbono or Grosley area, regions six and seven, spanning from Sufre to the Roseau area. So climate building, climate resilience in those areas, in those regions, and to increase food security, enhance productivity, food production, and livelihoods once again. During the courtesy visit by the delegation from the CDB to the Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Minister Alfred Prosper engaged in discussions about the strategic cooperation necessary for the successful implementation of the proposed climate adaptation project. Since 2018, there was a proposal for a climate adaptation project in the tune of 9.6 million US dollars, equivalent to anywhere around 25, 26 million EC dollars for the agricultural sector. It includes a number of capacity building initiatives, training for the farmers, climate smart agriculture, and a number of other support areas to really, really boost the agricultural sector. And based on my discussion with the, the, the colleagues from the CDB, they were very happy with where St. Lucia is at this time. I would like to have seen a lot more happen because this project has been delayed. And I really hope that we can really move quickly to implement all our programs, our activities under that project, which will be beneficial to all the farmers and stakeholders in the sector. The joint supervision mission of the Caribbean Development Bank and the Ministry of Agriculture demonstrates their commitment to enhancing the agricultural landscape through collaboration and a shared vision of overcoming challenges and driving long-term success. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.